Easy peasy, Japanesey. I think I heard that in a movie about 30 years ago. And now I see it written on a piece of equipment by Edgun. The PZ is a lightweight, compact and highly portable charging system by the renowned Ergen manufacturer. It includes a carbon fiber bottle, oh come on, and the PZ fill system itself. I got mine from the edgun.shop. If you're interested in this charging kit, definitely visit this online store. There you can select your desired bottle volume and connector type. The PZ comes snugly packed in this nice little box. I know most people hate unboxing videos, but in this case I'll make an exception because there's really not much to it. We got the PZ, a fill probe, and the last item in the box is the safety ring. I chose the 510 cubic centimeter bottle, which keeps refusing to stay still, and the PZ with a fuel probe on it. The fuel probe can be removed and I can install a foster female in its place, which would enable me to refill just about any air gun with this charging kit. And talking about threads, this one is an M18, so you can use this on a large variety of other bottles too. Let me... are you kidding me right now? Yeah, that should do it. So let me quickly guide you through the assembly process, although I'm pretty sure any of you can manage without my instructions. It's just that easy. Or peasy. First let's put some silicone grease on the o-ring. I like the green color by the way. You should put some lube on this o-ring here as well. I also suggest examining the inside of the bottle and making sure there's nothing in there, like an evil spirit for instance baking it roll back and forth on the counter. Well, okay, that might have been gravity. Now it's time to place the safety ring and let's make sure we do it the proper way. We have this tiny pin right here and a ball bearing right next to it. The pin should go into this cutout, whereas the ball bearing should go into one of these two notches. And just so that you know, it's not gonna stay in place until you screw the bottle on. Not too tight, of course. Now let's make sure the safety ring operates properly. In this position, it blocks the trigger so you can't accidentally press it while the charging kit is in your backpack, for instance. Rotate it clockwise and now you can depress it thus filling the air tank of your gun. To refill the PZ itself, you use the fill probe that's included in the kit. Actually, it's a standard Ed gun fill probe, so you can use it on just about any of their guns. You can insert the fill probe from this side or from the other one. Oh, 300 bar maximum fill pressure. Yeah, that sounds important. Okay, the fuel probe is attached to the hose of my big and much heavier air tank. You can also use a compressor, of course. Okay, now let's put some air into this bottle. Well, that's all I have in my big tank, I suppose. And what do you know, the much bigger wicker manometer gives the same measurement. Apparently the tiny Edgun manometer gives a correct reading. And let's see if it functions properly now. Safety is off. Good. It's already the following morning, my gear is packed and ready and waiting for me in my hard case. Everything I need is in there. I think it's about time to go smack some of the sky rats. Let's do it. There is a new item that I would like to bring to your attention. It's the single point sling for the Edgan Leshy 2. It comes with a swivel that you can easily attach to your gun, thus making it much easier to carry around, even with a full-size behemoth suppressor. Of course, you can have the leshy to fold it while attached to the sling, although I think some shooters might find it not so convenient. You can also very quickly and easily detach it through the press of a single button. Here is how you attach the sling to your leshy too. There is this hole in the butt plate of the leshy, all leshies have it. There is the sling, you press this button here, and you thrust it in. 
That's it. When you want to detach it, you just press this button and take it out. And there's another new item by Edgun that I particularly like. This is a new red pressure adjuster, much lighter and low profile than the older one. Fits like a glove. I forgot to mention that I painted the skirts of some pellets today. I chose white. Let's see if they're going to be clearly visible in flight. I wonder how long is it going to take for it to come down? Don't be disappointed, darling. There'll be more pigeons today. Yeah, I mean, eventually she should feel secure enough to actually take one out of my hands. I can't get her to do it just yet. There's something wrong with his wing. No, I'm definitely not touching this one without gloves. As a matter of fact, I wonder if even the cats will have them. Wow, this one literally fell on its head. I don't even have to finish him off. Check this out. She just grabbed another one of my catch. And apparently she is after the other one. No? Spoiled little feline. Okay, my cat retriever refused to finish him off. I think it expired, but I'm gonna go quickly and check on it.
You're still afraid. What happened to the sick pigeon? Why didn't you eat it? Picky now, aren't we? <laughs> You're not so silly, I know. Ah, I ran out of ammo. What's the point in owning a semi-auto if you don't use it as a semi-auto? <laughs> this Leshy 2 really turns me into a trigger-happy animal. I actually think that I got him with the first couple of shots this time, but I have to look at the slow motion, so I don't know myself yet. Let's find out. I thought I noticed some pellets spiraling or wobbling while I was looking for the scope of my gun, so I decided to pair my GoPro Hero 7 Black with my smartphone and see what that was about. I immediately suspected this. This, ladies and gents, is an industry marker and it's mostly used in construction. It has white paint in it and it's what I used to paint the skirts of my pellets for this outing. The thing is, most Diabo pellets have really deep skirts. And when you apply the paint, if you don't apply it evenly, this deteriorates the ballistic performance of the projectile. Note how the paint is not evenly applied. That's why I decided to lay off shooting the painted pellets for today and go back to shooting regular ones. However, I think that this thing shows promise. I just have to be a bit more careful next time. Alright, wind is from the right. We're gonna have to hold for elevation and for wind as well in this one. I'm not at a very stable stance. Well, that's disappointing. It's not gonna come down. Yeah, I know you're disappointed too. Don't worry, there'll be more. I wonder if I can pull off double here. No. Now these two that I just shot, this one and my failed attempt for a double kill over there, I'm gonna use for decoys. I wanna attract the rest of the pigeons to the rooftop of the warehouse. several shots in succession. Let's see now. The gate is also close. She's gonna take care of the ones that may remain alive. Nah, I think it was just one. There we go again. One of the guys told me in the comment section that I should use some toothpaste. Apparently it repels cats. Just two minutes later she's back for the second one. Like some people say in the comments again, it's like she has a fridge somewhere. That's 107 yards, hold for distance, elevation, for wind, it's from the right, all of it.
this one expired before I could even take a follow-up and it assumed a pretty artistic posture Oh, looks like I got him pretty good. I'm not gonna bother you with a lot of talking at the end of today's video. Just wanted to say thank you for watching and please keep doing so. That's it for today. I'm glad I didn't put a full mag in my gun.